let's see, if I'm thinking forested, mixed, especially coniferous, swamp, coniferous, red maple, maybe swamp, this is probably the first mushroom I'm likely going to find on a hummock in sphagnum. Another lactarius, okay? But in this case, you've got two different features to separate it, okay? First of all, you've got a cap that's not mucidous, not slimy, it's kind of lubricous. Secondly, you've got a cap that is always funnel shaped. Always funnel shaped. Gills going down the stalk. Mm. And thirdly, the color versus mucidous is always a little bit paler. Mm. Especially the margin of the cap is always paler. Mm. And the disc, however, with a little sort of umbinate disc is always darker. Mm. So you have the dark inner, light outer contrast. But it doesn't start out like a like a it does, but even but even when quickly. it starts out, it I mean within hours, okay, it goes up right. and becomes a funnel. So this gotcha. is Lactarius grizzius. And do you know what grizzy? <laughs> Great. Great. Yeah. Does. And uh, this one's a good one to, to talk about because these little guys are super super common. This is the trumpet chanterelle. Trumpet chanterelle. Trumpet chanterelle. Okay, so Cantharellus tubiformis. All right. Tube form. Easy. Tubiformis. Why is it called that? Not to... Well, the okay. tube, tube, which if you look is a hollow tube. Oh, okay. The stalk uh, is yeah. hollow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but in general, you've got a chanterelle by virtue of the absence of true gills. You have little folds or wrinkles underneath the cap, which serve as the spore bearing surface. Oh, okay. Folds Those or are wrinkles. totally edible. Totally edible. Mm -hmm. Totally delicious. Yeah. The only downside is if you pick about 50 of them <laughs> to make a meal because yeah. the water yeah. content is like 98%.